This is Todd. Todd tears tickets at the theater. Todd is not a terribly talented ticket taker and is not terrifically thrilled to take tickets. He tells his friends that taking tickets is tantamount to tragedy and therefore totally tiresome. This portly pudgy person is Paul, the purveyor of passes to the picture show. Paul painstakingly pushes to prevent his people from portraying a picture of passivity as opposed to professionalism. Paramount in Paul's psyche is the importance of perception, the prerogative to precipitate a pattern of proper place. Paul's purpose, therefore, is to preside over his proletarians and provide perpetual purpose for them. May the powers protect any person under Paul's position who presumes to present a picture of impropriety. Yikes. A yawn? Yearning to yell out like a yodeling yeti that the yawn yanks unyieldingly on Todd's youthful yoke, and he yaws from the usual why. Todd was stressed, since Paul said succinctly in a strict yet serpentine style that should Todd show signs of sleepiness while slogging along in servitude, he would be swiftly and summarily scolded and sent packing. Our sheepish standard-bearer struggled then, with the sudden soporific sensation of the yawn, certain that showing signs of slowing in his shift should ensure a storm from his stern supervisor. Todd strove to suppress his salacity to snooze, but soon sensed the strain would be sizable. Lifting his left limb loftily, he let out a lethargic low, <sighs> which only a learned labiomancer would lament. Todd looked lickety-split to learn whether his lark had been literated. Victory. But was it in vain? Cancer and capriciousness, a creepy crawly conducted its way into the center of the cinema, causing it cacophony with its croaking and creating a kerfuffle among the customers. He quickly commanded Todd to clear the cavity of this Caecilian carnival crasher. Todd absconded with the acrimonious amphibian into the alley adjacent to the amphitheater with the ambition to abolish the alien, but became a band. The animal was not so much an aberration as it was admirable. Its audacity in the face of adversity was amazing. As Todd stared into the eyes of his new companion, he felt a sense of belonging, of camaraderie with this small, scared little frog. He decided at this moment that the frog would be welcome in the theater under his protection. Todd smuggled the frog into the theater in his pocket. Incredibly, it did not writhe or wriggle. It sat there contentedly until Todd took his post again. Restless as a recipient reached for their receipt, Todd resisted, and his rear readily replied with a rousing ribbit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>